What's going on, people? This is Reese. So, uh, sermons domain at <laughs> the Marsupi Empire. What's going on? It's your boy Sermon in the Sermons Domain.com. Ooh, we're doing a review for a Jeezy Surprise Mixtape. What's that? Reese? Gangsta Party. Gangsta Party. Hosted by DJ Drama. Which is hell? Is this a Gangsta Grills project? Is it Gangsta Grills? Yeah. Gangsta Grills, you bastards. Yep. Okay. Can he's I say bad. that? I, he's back. Can I say that I like it? Can I say that I like it, Hella? You can. I like because we've been waiting for a new GZ project for man over a year or something. And it's crazy that this one just unreleased. I mean, it just went unannounced. Yeah. It just, I, I don't know where did I see the link. I think Sledrin. I think Sledrin was like, yo, cut that new GZ. Or he was, no, he said, I got four new joints on the GZ. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what GZ? You mean Cardo? Oh, it's Cardo. I'm sorry. It probably would have been Cardo, yeah. It was Cardo. But he was, Cardo was like, I got four new joints on the GZ. And I was like, what GZ? What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Playing a prank what right Jeezy? Is it a Jeezy project? <laughs> and I typed it in and it said, Thanks, buddy. No yep. Jeezy. But I lost my shit. What? <laughs> Jeezy got a project out, bro? Oh, my phone was here right now. Yeah. I downloaded it ASAP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Carlo, you did shit, bro. Fuck with you. Carlo and the London track actually did uh, a lot of heavy lifting on this. So it was really cool to see. Sunny Digital's on this joint, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Zaytoven's on it. Zaytoven. Cast is J. D. Rich. You know. You got a, a very colorful cast of people. Johnny Giuliani. Yep. Where has he been? I have no clue. Where has he been? <laughs> it was cool to hear him, man. Yeah. I haven't heard, heard his name in a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm actually happy about this shit. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Get into the shit. I really like this project. I really like the fact that Jesus came back and he's spitting all over the joint. I like the fact that they had Rich Homie Kwan in here. He was doing his thing. Uh, I really like uh, Type of Party. It was probably my favorite joint in here. Mm-hmm. It's cool to see Bankroll Fresh and Dolph on here. Dolph's on here, bro. Dolph's on here. Come anyway. on. Dolph has the best guest feature on the album, I think. Uh, I think so, too. Young Dolph is in... You know how Drake was on Everybody's Single and he was just killing it? Mm-hmm. Young Dolph is doing that on, a, on, a, smaller, on yeah. a smaller scale, obviously. Yeah. But he's he's been on, on fire. Yep. Um, I'm gonna say I didn't like Kevin Gates first, but uh, I'm not. Of course you do. Of well, no, you I'm just, well, no, no, I didn't. Not because I don't. It's not because I'm not really a fan of dude. I don't think one. I don't think he's that talented, and I don't think he added to that song like that. He did have the right energy, but I don't think he added to the song. See, you're not gonna see, but you're just like a fan of that dude, right? In my eyes, I feel like Kevin Gates musically can do no wrong. I don't agree with his social media antics. I don't like his. I don't. You think I'm he can not, do no wrong musically? At least lately. At least lately. Okay. Not overall, because obviously there's <laughs> there's records that I don't like, but recently. I was, you know, uh, what I was really wondering when we were going to hear Jeezy and YG again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because their their relationship's always really interesting to me. Um, because I'm not sure what kind of, is it like a big brother? Right. Big brother, little brother kind of relationship? Or was it like, I'm not to sign you as an artist and I'm about to put you on? Him and Quan, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm surprised I'm going to hear more of Richard McQuan and YG together. Because they're kind of like, you know, Jesus, like mentor, big brother type. Yeah. You know? Um, but I mean, everybody don't. And I guess there's no beef. I'm sure there's no beef. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's just. And and I, still, I know YG was in Atlanta heavily working on his next album. Oh, really? With like, you know, a bunch of different producers. I don't know who, to what extent of who is all a part of it. So. I hope I, Jesus is on it. I'm, I'm guessing Jesus is going to be on it. I mean, at least they, they probably crafted this record during, you know, the session. Absolutely. I the, see that. the realist. Yeah. And, um,. I like the fact that Jeezy's embracing a lot of the new talent that's really, you know, uh, making a noise in Atlanta. See, he does that. He's been doing it the past couple of years. Right. You know who does that also? Completely taboo to say this right now. But Gucci. Gucci does that. Of he does it really well. Gucci's like the the best the when it comes to that. In Atlanta right now. Even even behind bars, he's still doing that's it. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we had a brief intermission, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but um, you brought up an interesting point about Jeezy's albums versus his mixtapes. And I think it's really crucial to bring up that your opinion was that he has better albums than he has mixtapes. Not nece- no, no, no. Not necessarily better albums, but I'm saying when it comes to the albums, mm-hmm. Jeezy doesn't disappoint with it. I feel like his album, his catalog are solid. I'm not calling them any of them classics, but you cannot say, first yo, one. Jeezy has a... I said the first one was a classic. Yeah, but I'm not saying, I'm not, in terms of what I was going for. Uh, 
but some of the you can't say that Jeezy has a whack album because he doesn't. Uh, I beg to differ. Which one is whack? But that's just me. What was the second one? Double motivation one hundred two. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Trip man. Very trip man. Nope. You need to go on Spotify after this after this review. No, it wasn't Double Motivation one hundred two. Wasn't it the recession? No, the recession was the third one. You sure? Better like the recession. That was a good album. Was that the one with uh, Kanye? Put uh, on? yeah, put on. I love that Kanye verse, by the way. Okay, I like the Kanye verse too a lot. Uh, hey, who doesn't like that Kanye verse actually? Weird people. Okay, but anyway, I didn't like the second album. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, and my point is, like, there's some young Jeezy mixtapes that are forgettable. I wasn't a fan of the Realist Back or Realist Back Two. The Trapping Dead was dope though. Trapping Ain't Dead. The intro is infinite. Flame emojis. <laughs> Infinite flame emojis. Infinite. But what was that one song he had, bro? It was a single. Um, fuck. It was hot, too. It was hot, bro. Which one? Uh, I think it was the first time I think I heard it was it the, No, DJ Red? DJ? Shotty Red? Shotty Red. What was that shit? I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm gonna look it up. But anyway, it was hot, though. Anyways, let's go back to this particular though. mixtape. Go for it. So, I feel like I love the fact that he's working with a lot of people, and but at the same time, with only ten tracks, I feel like the guest features kind of overpower a little bit Did because you know? there's there's Nigga, who that? Nigga, there's, we that? So uh, that was one. That was my shit. <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records out of this whole tape that have guest features. That's cool. It doesn't, but it doesn't overshadow him though. I don't know, because when I was first listening to it, I felt like a lot of the guest features overshadowed him. Because really? I, I wasn't, like, I, it was more memorable to hear, you know, Pee Wee Longway than it was to hear Jeezy's part on Type of Party. What? Yeah. I thought, I, I thought Jeezy was the best verse. I'm not saying he didn't have the best verse. I'm just saying, in terms of when I was listening, it was kind of, you know, overshadowing. But That's the same thing. I just it's the like, same thing. No. You're saying the same thing. No, I'm not calling Pee Wee Longway. I didn't say he had a better verse. I'm just saying he overshadows Jeezy. Not lyrically. But like when I listen back to the record, I think more Pee Wee Longway than Jeezy. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that at all. I did. And okay. I felt that I'm way, you know, about a couple other records. I was a Young Dolph feature. I'm a big Young Dolph fan. I'm a big Dolph fan. Awesome. So I'm going yeah. to gonna gravitate to whatever he did. I didn't like Bankroll Fresh. That much? Uh, yeah. Uh, Slight Lizzy was also a feature I could have done without. Shy Lizzy? But I, I get it. I, I just, I'm not a big fan of his voice. Mm -hmm. And that kind of I get that. Me. That's how I feel like Kevin Gates. Yeah, that makes sense too. Um, okay, so if you had to rate this. I'm going to give it like a, a, a 3.5. What? Yeah. You're giving it a 4. I'm giving it a 3.5. Give it a 4 all the way. <laughs> it's hella good. It makes me go buy some Jabos and like a pinwheel hat and just stand on the corner <laughs> and, and a white tee, an oversized white tee and just sell dope all day to everybody. Not right. care about nobody in the film. Nah, I'm glad that, you know, Jeezy came back with a mixtape and, and, and it shows that he's been working. So obviously maybe with everybody else dropping this year, maybe later down the fall. This has been a good year so far. We can get. Jesus Christ, this year's been good so far. A young Jeezy album. I think that would be. See, I don't know if I want to hear a Jeezy album. I don't want to hear a label influence on Jeezy shit, bro. I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It's a whole different discussion. I just but don't want to hear a label anyways, influence on Jeezy shit. Go download Gangsta Party now on that Piff and. Tell the dope, bro. Let us know your thoughts in the, in the comments. What you like? Do you think the guest features? You know how I would have loved power? to hear in here? Just real quick? Yeah. Would have loved to hear in here, bro. Metro Boomer. Ooh. That would have been interesting. Hearing Metro Woman on this shit would have been dope. It probably would have been like a, a really nice touch. Yeah. You got everything else on here. And Metro just had like two joints on here, bro. Mm -hmm. That'd have been ridiculous. Hella high energy. And now that you mentioned Metro Boomin, it's also kind of surprising that we haven't seen Young Jeezy work with Young Thug. Hmm. Yeah. Well, is it really? I guess. Well, compare, considering all the names that are on this project, I figured, you know. I just figured they wouldn't be in the same lane. Mm -hmm. Like who, look bro, just say it man. Young Thug comes off as a fuck ass dude a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I just feel like 
I don't know how T.I. I mean, I guess T.I. is like in it for the money at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, he's going to sign artists or work with artists. You know, that's going to generate more I mean, sales he's, he's been telling you this in a song, so. I know. I'm just saying, though. You know, like, that's why I can see T.I. doing that. Right. Can't see Jeezy doing that. That makes sense. I can't see Jeezy working with somebody. I mean, he, he embraces new talent, but I can't see him embracing something like that that seems more gimmicky than anything, mm-hmm. than talent. I hear a lot of people say about Thug all the time, and he has melodies. Like, man, I rock with his melodies. You sound like his flows are dope or whatever. Mm-hmm. I never hear anybody talk about his subject matter in a positive light. Right. I never hear anybody talk about his wordplay in a positive light. All the things that make a rapper sense. and have, you know, give rappers longevity. I never hear anybody talk about that. It's mm-hmm. just, and none of these rappers on here, bro, like, none of these rappers on here, bro, seem gimmicky. You know what I'm saying? Quan's not gimmicky. Dolph mm-hmm. isn't gimmicky. Bankroll Fresh, People Along the Way is... Mm-hmm. Huh? You're just gonna name every guest. Yeah, cause I and I have to, cause I have to, because I have to. I let people know these are the type of artists that G's working with. So right. when you talk about him not working with Young Thug, it's not surprising to me because he's gonna work with someone who brings something right. to the table. You know okay. what I'm that makes sense. Kevin, I, I really wasn't thinking about it in that bro, way. Bro, three three rappers that you gotta. You can even say this about two chains. Kevin Gates, two chains, YG, bro. All feel like they have something to say. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like Young Thug feels like he has anything to say. Right. There's a lot of times that his raps are intelligible. And you're not really going to listen to it from a lyrical standpoint. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, bro, I'm all these other rappers, I'm saying something. Even two chains. Even chains, bro. Right. It's like he feels like he has something that he wants to get off his chest and wants to speak on. So he does that. Okay. Obviously, Kevin Gates, especially YG. All right. Sorry, bro. I'm just, I don't. <laughs> He's going on the young thug, man. We got to just, you know. I'm, I'm just, uh, it. it bothers okay, me. Okay, anyways, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> like the video, uh, follow us on Twitter, at Sermons Domain, at Evil Marshall Bills. Um, once again, thank you for watching and go download Gangster Party now. Buy some Jabos. Get some Jabos jeans.